I wanted to make an L magazine cover and I started looking on the web for the font and the font I have in Windows 7, this one here, looks pretty close Bodini MT Condensed but it's really not after messing around. Now this is actual copy of the logo down from the web and it just doesn't quite fit up. So I thought, well what the heck, let's try to figure out a way to make it ourselves. So I've got this really nice version of the L Magazine with Victoria Beckham on the front. So I'm just going to cut her head off with a Control C. I'm going to Control V, paste it in here. I'm going to zoom in and choose this tool here, which is our busy egg curves and straight lines. And then we're just going to use the Control key to keep the lines straight. won't use the control key here. I'm using shift and mouse wheel and then the mouse wheel to move in and out and sideways. And this part here didn't line up so well so we'll get our edit pass tool and we're going to just move it a little bit. Straighten that up. That looks pretty good. And what we can do is use our edit pass tool to come in here and just drag this guy here and bend it around. And that looks pretty good. So now we're going to start on our E. We're going to basically do exactly the same thing. Use our Bezier curve and straight line tool here. And then we can pick our edit path tool again and just bend these now we can select them Control C, Control V, and duplicate that one. Move this guy over here, over this one. Just line it up a bit better. And do the same for the L. That looks pretty good. And oops, then we can use the select tool and select all of them. And then we're going to go object group. And this allows us to make it bigger and smaller. And it looks like we've picked up Victoria in the back here, so we're going to get rid of that. And and what we're going to do is we're going to fill these guys and shift control so it doesn't actually do the stroke and fill and then shift click and fill and shift click and fill and shift click make sure that lines up again So it looks like they actually have a bigger gap between these two letters than these two letters and over on the web I've had a look and it looks like L takes a bit of artistic license with their logo. So what we'll do is we'll leave it like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to group the characters and we just highlight and then we say group and then now this allows us to use control and 
this and we can scale up our logo as big as we like. And then we can save it out. Export our selection. And we can come over to GIMP here where we've done a cover. There we go there, and we just go out and find a model. Now the only problem with doing a logo this way is that if you want to choose a particular color, you are going to have to change the color in Inkscape. So if you wanted this to be silver, you're going to have to choose a silver, and then export it, and then import it back into GIMP. So this looks pretty good. Now we can apply our erasing technique that we used in our other tutorials. And if you're not familiar with that, you click the what you want to erase, and you pick Add Layer Mask. And then wherever we pick a Paint Tool, and wherever you paint black, it erases to the to transparent. I'll just quickly go over this like that. That gives you an idea of how that works. So that's the start of an L magazine. <laughs>